Hello everyone, welcome back to YK Reviews and welcome back to another weekly entertainment news video here. Lost to discuss Hellboy casting, some new video game adaptation movies being announced here. We've got casting updates, sequel updates, so lots to dive into. Once again, timestamps will be in the description down below. So if anything that you're particularly interested in, timestamps will be in the description down below so that you can follow those particular news here. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> So with the first um, couple of new stories here I want to discuss here is a couple of trailers got released mostly by Disney. So we've got two trailers here, one going straight to Disney Plus, one going to the cinema here. So, so with the first trailer, it's the new Peter Pan and Wendy movie. From what I've seen from the trailer, honestly, I'm not that hyped for the movie whatsoever. 100% transparency, I haven't seen a Peter Pan movie in a really long time. Robin Williams' is, um, Hook Peter Pan movie was the last movie I've seen when it comes to the Peter Pan franchise in itself and with this one I just don't have high hopes with Disney's live action like the live action remakes that Disney has been doing Pinocchio was just a complete disaster like I mentioned in a previous video here the Lion King um, remake was just not that good so from what I've seen in this trailer too it's just like a darker tone as well so like it's not got me excited which is what a trailer should be doing so for me I'm just gonna most likely wait till when it does come out on Disney plus and just maybe check it out but from what the trailer has shown so far it's just not that exciting but we go from this trailer to another trailer that honestly has got me really hyped is the new trailer for the haunted mansion the one with Eddie Murphy, I loved that movie. I went to watch it in the cinema with my mom and my brother 20 years ago now, maybe longer than that. I think it came out 2004, 2003. Yeah, like such a long time ago now. And I really enjoyed that movie. It's one of the only DVDs I have got at my um, parents' house. I thoroughly had a good time with that movie. I really enjoyed that movie. I've never been to the actual ride, so my only experience with The Haunted Mansion is from Eddie Murphy's movie. But from this trailer too, I really like the look of this trailer. It's got me really excited with what they're gonna do with it here. Like you see Owen Wilson there, you see Jamie Lee Curtis, you've got Danny DeVito in there, Jared Leto, you saw a little bit of that. And even the poster that released as well, I really like the look of the poster. So with The Haunted Mansion, I really am excited to see what they're gonna do with this movie and excited to see this movie in the cinema. So let me know your thoughts, your opinions with the two trailers here, the Peter Pan one and The Haunted Mansion. Your thoughts, your opinions in the comments section down below for those two trailers your excitement level your hype level your disappointment level please let me know down in the comment section below so our first news story here is we've got some casting updates to the santa claus tv series the disney plus series that came out in december which is following the santa claus movies with tim allen so this is coming from the deadline here we've got the santa claus adds gabriel iglesias as a series regular so from what we're seeing here is that he will be playing Chris Kringle, the owner and operator of a Christmas themed amusement park called Santa Land. Sweet, happy and perpetually optimistic, Chris is a warm, generous soul who is determined to keep his struggling theme park afloat. However, his belief in Santa and love for all Christmas may not be enough. Now, when it comes to like the Santa Claus show, I was going to be doing a review of the movies and the the series um, when it came out because of the cough and everything like that i just never had a chance to record the video i made notes and everything like that ready to record but just could not do it could not speak about it but but when it comes to the the movies in itself i really love the first two movies of santa claus with tim allen like the first one such a unique movie i watch it every few years around christmas time one of my top top christmas movies and the sequel too was really entertaining and really enjoyable i really liked bernard he was such a great character too and great to see him returning in the disney plus series wasn't a fan of the jack frost and the third movie overall and it was really great to see the nostalgia the christmas memories you have with the cast when it comes to the disney plus series however i feel like it was lacking something the plot in itself and if you haven't seen the show basically um tim allen santa claus is going to be retiring and for his replacement he gets a character from harold and kumar cal penn to take over the north pole only for him to go with the today's 21st century day and age basically the delivery system of droids having christmas every single day and having people just do online shopping basically and then 
Tim Allen going on this quest and journey, realizing that he made a mistake and all this kind of stuff. The characters too, they were cute. They were they had great chemistry there, but it was just lacking this magic there. You had returning cars, like I mentioned, Bernard, Santa Claus's son, who came back from the movies. There were some great dialogues in there, some great character arcs with certain people overall in the series in itself. But just overall, it was lacking something but i have a great time with these characters with the show with like the um settings here having gabriel iglesias coming into the show i find him hilarious i really love his specials i really love his comedy too so, so i know that he's gonna bring some great comedy into the series add this little breath of fresh air him being like a owner of like in this amusement park too seems to have some interesting tone that they can go with so overall i am excited to see what they're going to do with Gabriel iglesias and the santa claus series season two if you've seen the show though let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts your opinions of this if you were disappointed with season one please let me know down in the comment section below for that one and for the next news story here is one that i honestly just found very intriguing it's one that we've got here from the deadline is the weekend jenny ortega barry cogan are going to be starring in a new film based on an original idea from the weekend with trey edwards schultz directing the movie here and very little details are known about this project with Edward Schultz directing, I'll be honest, I've not seen any of his projects here. He's not had a lot, but I've just not seen any of his work. But I just wanted to bring this new story up here because you've got The Weeknd making his acting debut. You've got Barry Cogan, Jenna Ortega um, starring in this. Two fantastic actors and actresses um, here. So a very interesting dynamic. You've got Weeknd, Jenny Ortega, Barry Keegan all working together in this movie here. So a very interesting group. And... Something that I am going to keep my eye on here to see what this movie could possibly be about here. As I mentioned, details are being kept under wraps here. But you just know that with Jenna Ortega, who honestly was brilliant in um, Scream 5. And um, I've not seen the Wednesday Netflix show, but I've heard such great things about that show. And you've got Barry Keegan. Um, again, apologies if I'm mispronouncing the name there. Um, he was fantastic in The Eternals, despite all the negatives with that movie he was brilliant there and he, he was fantastic in the banshee of inner sharon also that little cameo with um, the joker in the batman movie too i really like him as an actor so a project that has got a lot of potential there let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comment section below regarding the casting group here and what your thoughts are about what this project could be about let me know your thoughts and your opinions down in the comment section below here. and the next new story here that i honestly thought we were never going to get we have a report coming out here that the video game dead by daylight is going to be coming to movie screens in the very near future and this is coming from blumhouse so if you're not aware with what dead by daylight is it's basically a video game where you play online you have two options you can become either the serial killer or you can become the victims if you're playing as a victims you're in this secluded area you're running around in the dark trying to um work on these generators so that they can open a door for you to escape while you're playing online there's other people playing as the killers who are coming in to kill you put you in a hook basically eliminate you and the great thing about this game is you have so many characters to pick from you've got Ghostface, you've got leatherface you've got michael myers freddy krueger a bunch of different like killers from various types of movies and the original killers too that they come from with dead by daylight I suck at this game. I've tried playing here. I just am not good at either being the killer or being the victims. But there's so many great content on YouTube when it comes to like people playing Dead by Daylight. It is a really fun game. And the fact that it can become a movie has got me very excited, especially coming from Blumhouse when they have got like really great hits when it comes to like horror movies. This has a great potential. Obviously, when the video game itself, you're in this area, you're working on the generators to, to escape so what the plot could be has me all twisted in terms of like i'm honestly stumped at what the plot can be but in terms of like the actual serial killers i don't think they'll be using famous ones from like movies like like i said michael myers freddy krueger Ghostface. i don't think they'll be able to use those obviously for rights reasons so they'll probably stick with the original ones that they've came up with for the game but again with the plot I'm curious to see what they're going to do with it, but it does actually get me excited to see what they have got, what they have got at the disposal with this game, what kind of movie they can make here. And, and even with this news too, maybe you'll get more people joining in the game too. As I'll be completely honest, sometimes it takes a long time to get through to like a room to play online because not a lot of people are playing 
from what I've experienced and what from my wife experienced when we try to play it online, but maybe it's because my ranking is so low because I'm so bad at the game. But overall, like, I'm very excited for this here. Please let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section down below. Have you played the game? If you have, and if you do play the game, are you on PlayStation? Please let me know. And also, your excitement level or your thoughts of this becoming a movie, let me know down in the comment section below. And for the next news story here is we have got an update with Pokemon Detective Pikachu, the sequel. This movie, which I believe came out in 2019, one movie that I really did like. I honestly was surprised at how good this movie was. Watching the trailer, I really wasn't that excited. I'll, I love Pokemon. I'm more of a Digimon fan. If you're like growing up at that era when it comes to Digimon versus Pokemon, Pokemon. huge Digimon fan compared to like Pokemon but I really had a great time with Pokemon used to collect the Pokemon cards used to watch the cartoons loved the Pokemon movie with Mewtwo returning that's one of my favorite Pokemon movies and with this one I had low expectations I really wasn't looking forward to it but after watching the movie it really did blow me away with how good it was and now we've got a director attached to it so this is coming from the deadline and it's reporting here that Jonathan Chrysel, Chrysel? again apologies if I'm mispronouncing the name here he's set to direct the Pokemon Detective Pikachu sequel at Legendary here and I'll be honest again I'm not familiar with any of his work previously there but based on like the original movie the 2019 movie, I think it was really well written and really well directed. I think this will equally be as good. So I think that this could potentially be a brilliant sequel, similar to like the Sonic, Sonic um, the Hedgehog 1, Sonic 2, really great sequel, a really fantastic um, movie franchise that they're building here when it comes to like the Sonic world. I feel like this has the potential to have a brilliant sequel here. I'm really looking forward to it here. Once again, the first movie did blow me away, so I I'm pretty hyped to see what they're going to do with this one. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section down below regarding this. If you've seen the first one, also let me know your thoughts about the original movie and your thoughts and hype level for the sequel here. Please let me know down in the comment section below. And for the uh, next news story here is we have got some interesting news regarding the uh, Lord of the Rings um, announcement here. So, so I believe I mentioned this either last week or the week before's um, weekly entertainment news videos here. It's that Lord of the Rings, Warner Brothers is ready to make a trilogy of movies trying to make it into like a Star Wars big franchise. But interesting news coming out here is that Amazon are placing big bets on their series. So there's sort of a two studios, two um, streaming services rivaling. You've got Amazon with Amazon Prime's TV series, which they're, which they're going on to the second series here. Again, I've not seen the full first season of the Lord of the Rings TV show, but they're working on a second season. And then you've got Warner Brothers side, you've got them wanting to make a trilogy of movies, also hoping to have Peter Jackson, who, who directed the original Lord of the Rings trilogy movie, three movies, which were fantastic. And if you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend. And so Warner Brothers are hoping to get him on board so that he can like help with, with the new series of movies as i mentioned they want to have it as a more big franchise like a star wars franchise going back to like their original ips this is coming from the hollywood reporter 2 here is saying that as warner brothers discovery ceo david zartelef declared in the company's earning calls warner brothers and new line cinema made a multi-year deal with embracer group to make a new lord of the rings movies though there are no scripts yet one insider suggests to the hollywood reporter that warner brothers hopes to turn the lord of the rings into a star wars like franchise so again very interesting news here that they're having two separate streaming services studios working on two separate production one is this lord of the Rings series one is working on a big franchise movies it's going to be difficult to consume all of it because you've got people are going to be liking the series more than the movies you've got the people attached to the original movies like myself that want to see more in terms of like the lord of the rings movies the lord of the rings aura world building that kind of stuff so i feel like the streaming wars is getting ridiculous as it is right now when you've got so many streaming platforms netflix disney plus hulu amazon prime hbo max all this stuff here so having one franchise in two separate streaming services with two different types of like directions that they're going with i feel like makes no sense here so with the series there can only be so much storytelling and direction that they're going to go with that. With the movies, like it's mentioning in the report here, wanting to do like this big franchise. But when you want to do a big franchise like Star Wars, you've got the trilogy of movies. You've got so many like um, branches splitting with animated TV series, um, Disney Plus series. So there's lots that they can do with it. 
but it's just do people want to have it where it's one streaming service is having this series one streaming service has the movies i don't know for me it's just i feel like warner brothers is going to focus more on the movies but then for me i'm going to most likely watch more of the movies rather than the series but i would be watching both regardless anyway like i would have the time to do that but most people don't let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section regarding this here like do you think this is a good idea like would you be watching the series more than the movies would you be more focused on the movies than the show please let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below here and for the final news story of the week here is we've got another update regarding hellboy so it feels like every week there's more and more updates so we've actually got some casting news for the hellboy movie so with the reboot this is going to be based on the comic book series the crooked man I have got a playlist of all the weekly entertainment news videos here, but I'll also put the um, latest one of the weekly entertainment news with the Hellboy information somewhere over here where it gives more plot details. But this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter once again. We have Hellboy movie The Crooked Man has cast actor Jack Kessie as the anti-hero who is going to be playing Hellboy. I'll be completely honest, I've not seen any of his work. I went to check his um, like filmography. He appeared in Deadpool 2, but I just couldn't remember his scenes or couldn't find it at all. However, as I mentioned previously, I'm like really excited for this Hellboy reboot. And I went to my local comic book store to try and get The Crooked Man comic book to see the adaptation here because I want to learn more about it I've not read the comic books and I want to just learn more about what they're going to do with the adaptation here and what they told me is that they haven't got it in the store they are going to have it shipped so I'm in Canada right now so they're going to have to have it shipped from the US to Canada which is going to cost about 50 bucks something I couldn't like really do to be honest with you right now and like spending 50 bucks to have it shipped is an ideal and it is very frustrating because I do want to get that comic book there but I'm really excited for this here I don't have like any strong opinions or mixed feelings or anything like that by the cast um, news here I think that he could become a fantastic um, Hellboy he's going to be in a lot of makeup he's going to have all these like prosthetics and everything like that it's just mostly based on the scripting and like from what we've read and like all the information that's been coming our way these last couple of weeks when it comes to the actual movie in itself this reboot looks like it's going to do justice it's going to be a great reboot i might be hyping it more than most and i'm just a huge fan of like the original 2000 movies of hellboy and maybe this is gonna bomb and if it does i don't see us seeing hellboy in a very long time after this reboot if it does bomb but i don't see that happening because the writer of that comic book is working with like the director in this new adaptation here so hopefully this is going to become good and now we've got more information in terms of the casting update here so every time we do get more information regarding hellboy i will be having a weekly entertainment news video so there will be news updates every single time we do get an update so if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the like button notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of these videos here again i do this every single week weekly entertainment news variety of news here so it's always going to be on the channel so subscribe so that you don't miss out on that but let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comment section down below regarding this are you happy with the casting update here are you happy with the news of jack kessie being the um, anti-hero here please let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below but that about wraps it up for this week's entertainment news video here please let me know your thoughts on everything we discussed again timestamps will be in the description down below for everything here and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button like button notification bell so that you don't miss out on weekly entertainment news videos and other videos i will be posting here on the channel and also i have got a twitter link is in the description down below go ahead follow me on that so that you also know whenever i post but thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening this is yk reviews